Hi, welcome to a brand new season of Daily Planet. I'm Jay Ingram. And I'm Natasha Stilwell. As you can tell, we have got a shiny brand new studio and we'll dish the dirt on how that came to be a little later. Welcome back to Daily Planet. So, we've almost finished our first show in this fabulous new set. This beauty didn't happen overnight. In fact, it took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Not ours, though. So okay. <laughs> Unfortunately. It also took a lot of creativity. Take a look. And dissolve B. The last day of our last season was also the last day for our set. It was four years old, time for a change. There's sort of a life cycle to sets, in my opinion, and I think that uh, Daily Planet was really, now that it's growing so much, really in need of something new, something fresh uh, for our audience. And that's why we, we decided to go ahead and do it this year. When you change a set in television, everything must go, and we mean everything. The walls, the furniture, the props, even all the lights get hauled away. All that's left is a large, empty studio and a vision for how to transform it. So what we try to do with the set is to give it much more of a technical feel, more of a construction and engineering feel. And I think you'll see that in the way the, the build and the logo uh, in our animation and in the way in which the set flows. All of the, the different types of, of metal and fabric and things that we've incorporated in the set. Turning a large empty rectangle into a modern flowing set with an engineering feel is the job of the set designer. Jill Cooper starts by listening to what producers want then she has three months to turn those concepts into something real. She starts the process with some very simple drawings. So the first thing I did was start just playing with those concepts graphically, playing with color and line and movement and just the feel of things. I also did a really rough floor plan and that again you can see you can really see where the idea of movement is in the floor plan where you move around the space and then we develop that into more realistic uh, looks at scale and how things fit in the exact studio space and how uh, the director's going to shoot around different things. The curves in the set also help uh, give the illusion of movement. So if things lines are moving off the screen and moving out, out into the distance, it creates the illusion of more depth. It's one thing to draw a set with lots of lines and curves. It's quite another to actually make it. All those walls, desks, and risers that Jill created on paper have to be handcrafted to her specifications. Her blueprints become the building plan that the carpenters use to build each and every piece of the new Daily Planet set. Whatever we can maximize on this baby. Jill knows what she wants every part of the set to look like, but she also understands that some things don't work out exactly as planned. But I try to draw exactly what it is I want to see, and then if he can create as close approximations as possible, then I'm happy. Once the pieces are built, they get moved into the studio. Again, the set designer has to make sure that all the pieces get put in exactly the right place. This is where Jill's drawings finally come to life. When all the pieces are in place, it's time to start the laborious task of lighting the studio. More than 120 individual lights are used in this set. Some lights are functional, they light up the spots where Natasha and I will stand. Others are purely for decoration, to set a mood or tone. Camera two, give me a single of uh, Natasha. With a few days to go before the set's big debut, and director John Morrison gets to see what the set will look like okay, on TV. He looks for camera angles and positions for us hosts to stand in. Like any new home, it takes a bit of time to learn your way around. It's been 90 days since we said goodbye to our old set. 90 days to dream up, design, build, and install all this. I think we've got a very contemporary but fun set that gives us a lot more flow, a lot more opportunity for new things to be done. And I think it's one that has a longevity to it, and that's what we really wanted. In TV terms, longevity is about four or five years. That's how long this set should last. And then it'll be time to start the whole process all over again.